Yo, what's going on guys? This is Wynn and welcome back to another video. So if you didn't catch our last video, we unboxed the new 14 Pro Max. And while I was shopping at the Apple store, I decided to see what kind of mobile gaming accessories does Apple sell in their own store? And there were actually two controllers on the shelf and I figured, well, if Apple's selling them, they must be pretty good, right? So introducing the Nimbus Plus from SteelSeries, and we also have this Rotor Riot controller as well. Now there are some pretty substantial differences between the two. So we're gonna save the Rotor Riot for another day and we're going to just look at the Nimbus Plus in today's video. So here is the Nimbus Plus from SteelSeries. This is made for iPhone, iPad, an iPod so this is a native Apple controller um, you have a clamp here and your phone can go on top of that so you can literally hold the entire unit together and of course the great thing about controllers is that you can play without having the device in your hand so that means maybe sitting on the couch and hooking it up to a 70 inch TV in the living room that's now possible I guess and what's pretty cool is you get up to four months of Apple Arcade for free and if you guys don't know what Apple Arcade is it is this subscription service that has dozens or hundreds of games you know little strategy games just nice games you know before we got into all the like dumping thousands of dollars into microtransactions so Apple Arcade is like a nice just chill you know like little fun Sonic games and stuff this is a wireless gaming controller it has clickable joysticks you've got kind of that L3 and the R3 a tactile d-pad button built-in rechargeable battery with up to 50 hours of battery life so they're really marketing around the fact that you don't have to charge this very often at all and it includes the Nimbus Plus iPhone mount so of course today we will be opening this and testing it out with our brand new 14 Pro Max. For glory. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. There it is, actually pretty nice packaging. Got the styrofoam in there, keeping it nice and secure. This feels pretty good. It's bringing me back to my like console days, man. I was a PS4, PS3, PS2, PS1 guy. I was a PlayStation guy since I've been five years old, man. So this feels nice and comfortable. It's also got these like concave analog sticks that go inward, which is really nice for grips. So you're not gonna you're not gonna like slip as, as much. And we've got, I'm presuming a battery bar here for maybe gauging how much charge you have left. It still says A, B, X, Y, which is kind of funny because this doesn't really resemble a an Xbox controller. You've got the USB-C charging port at the top. You've got additional buttons up here too. I'm probably not gonna use this, and if I leak it, uh, someone's gonna screenshot this, so there you go. Maybe one person can get four months of free gaming. We need the Nimbus clamp. There it is, okay, it was hidden in there. I thought about it for a second, I felt like I'm kind of missing something, aren't I? There we go. So now we've got the clamp, and before we put the box away for good, We've just got some of the product information in the bottom as well. We've, oh, actually, that's not USB-C. That's lightning. Oh, interesting. So it doesn't, it's not provided with a cord because it's obviously assuming that you can use the cord. There we go. That comes with your Apple product that you kind of have to have in order for the controller to work. So there we go. So actually, let's give us some juice real quick while we figure out how to mount this onto it. This retracts. That's pretty cool. So you push this and then it comes out and then it slides into these holes and that's how it kind of attaches to the controller. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. Oh, it's a very tight, which I guess is good because you want it to stay. But yeah, that's a really tight squeeze. The holes are like rubberized, so it really just gets in there. So the first thing I want to try out is Call of Duty Mobile because we didn't really give it a test. Uh, when I unbox the phone. Plus, I know that Call of Duty Mobile is one of the best games when it comes to controller support. So I think it only works in game. It's not going to work in the menus. So we still have to kind of tap around in the menus. It just works like out of the box. Didn't have to really do anything. Okay, so if I want to slide, I just press B. Woo. Yo, this is actually really sick. All the buttons are perfectly mapped to like exactly what you'd expect on a console. This is, it's literally like playing a PS4 game. That's how it feels. I still have gyro. Oh no way. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's filthy. That's filthy. Controller plus gyro is filthy. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. We're not missing now. We are not missing now. Except I just missed a little bit. Oh my God. Yo, there's gyro and controller. <laughs> 
That's crazy. All right, just for fun, I'm gonna actually go try some of the Apple Arcade games because for a little bit more of, you know, a casual gamer, and you wanna play like a like single player game or, or Minecraft or something, even uh, something like that, I think could be uh, really fun with this controller. As a matter of fact, Apple actually has an entire category within Apple Arcade that is listed as great with controllers. So I'm gonna pick up a couple games to try Asphalt 8 and maybe Lego Star Wars too, why not? Sounds fun. And if you're curious what Apple Arcade looks like, you can uh, go to the arcade section and there are a ton of games and categories. These are all included with the $4.99 a month subscription. Ooh, okay, yo, this is nice. Yo, this is kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're drifting and we're boosting. This is it, dude, that's the whole pack right there. Oh my God, I'm in first, what? Oh, that was sick. Oh, no way, he's passing me. No way. Oh my God, that guy's in first. Oh, get the NOS, get the NOS, get the NOS. More NOS, even more NOS. Oh my God, we're in first. Go, 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 go. Oh my God. Yo, let's go. Oh man, look how close he was. Oh dude, this is so sick. This controller is awesome. Yo, this is sick. It's literally like a console in your hands. Are you kidding me? I love Lego Star Wars, dude. This is taking me back to my childhood, bro. Cool. Dude, this is awesome. Well, I certainly have to say this Nimbus Plus is really awesome and I wasn't expecting this to be as much fun as it was. The total time it took me to go from opening the box to playing in the game was like a couple of minutes tops. Pairing this with the phone, super easy. And it actually had enough battery out of the box that like, I didn't even have to worry about charging it. Like I was able to just play. So super user friendly, easy setup. All the games felt great, especially Call of Duty Mobile. I wasn't expecting to be able to play with controller mapping buttons with gyroscope. I feel like if you actually master that, it could be a pretty deadly combination. So anyway, guys, if you're interested in this controller, I will drop the link below in the description. We'll also be unboxing this Riot Rotor, Rotor Riot controller, which is wired. Also a little bit more like an Xbox controller and we'll be maybe doing a little bit of a comparison, but this was the other controller they sold at the Apple store as well. So this one definitely passed the test with flying colors and we'll be testing this one out in the next video. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.